Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. Um, I've already recorded this and unstuffed everything and we're re-recording it all because it sounds really stupid but in my last video um, all here was like blurry and I'm not sure why. I don't know what is happening with my camera but it's getting really annoying. Anyway, um, I did have a load of happy mail. So I brought this ages and ages ago and haven't shown it on camera yet. Um, I'm gonna get her A5 one as well. I just love her stuff. Her stuff's brilliant. Um, and I got some other happy mail. This has all been mixed up now, but I've got the four foot fiver from Dingley, not Dingley Designs. Dilly Dally Budgets and the Flamingo 5 from Dilly Dally Budgets. I've got the 2025 loading, save 80, 30 jars, 25 jars, 16 jars and 9 jars from Budget Lux. I got this one from My Money Matters. This was a freebie from Safe Spudged in Life along with these. They were in Perfects that she sent me. Um, and we, I made a second order with her and she sent me this one, bless her. That was my freebie from Dilly Dally Budget. This is from Studio Budget Co. I'm pretty sure this was a freebie because I didn't order it. Um, so there's those ones. And then I've put the rest in these ready. Um, so obviously I've <laughs> I'd already recorded this video. So everything had been like... Thing it and um, you know it's all been like can't it's all been rubbed back off and whatever else so in my lower challenges binder so this was a freebie I can't remember who from but it's so cute and this was also a freebie so cute I got the cassette from so spudged in life nine jars from budget lux color the alphabet Oh, I can't remember who it's from. Sugar. Is it Studio Budget? Possibly. Panda Pop from Dilly Dally Budgets and Adorable Friends from... I'm pretty sure it's Safe Spudge to Life, isn't it? So we've got those ones that are going to go in here. I don't even know if I've got enough envelopes. And then for my bigger ones, I've got Fill the Jar... I don't actually know if I ordered this. I must have done. I can't remember. Money Multiplier. Sudoku Roll. Risk the Six. And Hugs and Kisses, which is basically heads and tails. Um, so, yeah. I am one that... I tend to not order anything for a while. And then I um, will order like loads in one go. I don't know why, it's just the way I've always, it's the way I've always done it. Um, so I think my last order was like beginning of the new year. It was like Christmas time for the new year. Um, so yeah, it's got Risk the Six. We've we'll popped Money Multiplier in this one. I don't know if I've got enough envelopes, like I said. Fill the jar. I will, I've got some new envelopes coming, so... Um, I will swap these out because some, some of them are getting really like dirty where they've got what do they call it what do they call it permanent marker stains on so in this one my big one now I've got this one which I'm going to use towards my car I'm going to aim to put 100 a week in here but we'll just see how we go risk the 6, knock out 9 Fill the jar, hugs and kisses, Sudoku roll, rock, paper, scissors, mine sweep, which some of them are fingered off because I did start it before. Um, but yeah, and wrong with the times. Now, I think in my last video I did do some challenges, but I've basically reset everything. I've reset my binders. Um, I go through phases where I feel really overwhelmed when I'm stuffing a bit. I know like cash stuffing as a rule, you stuff a little bit in an envelope each week until it builds up to the amount you want but 
when I start to feel overwhelmed, that just doesn't work for me. Um, I don't know why, it just doesn't. So I'm basically going to, I'm going to probably stuff Christmas each week. Um, I'll do my purse each week and we'll unstuff that each week. But apart from Christmas, I'm just going to put everything into challenges um, and just, you know, re and then at the end, so it won't be the end of May because obviously that's only like, I've only got this stuff in and another stuff in to go. Um, but the end of, end of... June, depending on if we've completed anything, will be my first un unstuffing. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do challenges for a bit and then, so I think the next thing for us to, um, next thing for us to Oh, what's it called? Fully Fund is the six weeks holidays. Because um, I've shuffled everything about. Um, so, yeah. Right, we'll do the clogs one first and then I'll pop this one in here for when we finish that one. Um, yeah, I've shuffled. So basically, like, what happened was I had money... Up. So I had some money in like Josh's birthday. Josh's birthday isn't until November, but with the budget that I have, if I'd have carried on cash stuff in, even if I'd have stopped putting into Josh's birthday, I wouldn't have had enough. I wouldn't have achieved my goal amount for the six weeks holidays. So apart from Christmas, um, all of my stuff that isn't close coming up has been unstuffed um and been put into like priorities that are closer to the time um right i have i've put everything back as if i haven't done a video because well not quite i haven't put it all back in the single envelopes but and this wasn't all in fives but it is now <laughs> um so in my purse i think we have 77 and we had a bit of change, which Luna has put into the unicorn already. Um, so let's see what we've got. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 2, 4, 6, 8, 70, 2, 4, 6, yeah, 77 left in my purse. There is £55 here in pound coins. I'm just going to quickly count it, just to double check, which was in my 2024 and is staying in my 2024. We just got to cross it all off because, like I said, I've reset everything. So this is the binder that I'm currently working on. So holidays fully funded, Father's Day is fully funded. Our birth, mine and John's birthday that's in July is now fully funded. School uniform is fully funded um, and school holidays, I can't remember, I think I'm about £300 away from fully funding that. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got £77 that was left over in my purse. I'll just quickly count this up. Right, there's 52 in here. So, let's pop that in the calculator. You'll see why in a minute. <laughs> I'll pop all this back in here. Right, so that's 52. So, shall I cross that off now? Let's just cross that off now and then I know it's done. So, we've got 26. Which leaves 26, which... It's not on this first one, is it? 15. 
and 11. Right, I'll put that to the side a sec to dry a little bit. So that's the whatever that was already in there. I've got some extra money. So we've got 77 left over from my purse. And then we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 65. 265 extra with basically I don't know how but I've budgeted incorrectly um, and we've only got one cash stuff in left so that was what was in the bank and the money for the rest of the bills this month is covered and then we've got 500 for this week I'm not going to count it because I know there's 500 so I'm going to ignore that for now we're going to stuff my purse and then we'll see what's left of this to go into challenges along with that. So, food is getting 100. Oh no, it's all mixed up. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. Twenty, forty. Diesel is getting 40. Kids is getting 15. Miscellaneous is getting 5. And personal is getting 35. And then that is the purse stuffed for another week. So, how much have we got here? Left 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 0, 5. So we've got 305 of this week's budget. So we've got 647 going into challenges. Um, which is brilliant. So I'm going to start with Christmas because, yeah, just why not? Um, Christmas is in it, well kids for Christmas because I want to try and get this funded by the end of so we've got 647 to play with um, I want to try and get Christmas for the kids funded by October so I can start the Christmas shopping so I'm going to put 50 in here I haven't got a candle this week either because I think that might be. So 50 take 37 is 30. So we can cross off 37 and 13. So that's brilliant. So that will bring it up to 750 now for the children, I think. throwing it everywhere so we've got 500 600 20 40 50 60 70 80 91 so 700 10 20 30 40 750 i'm aiming for about 1400 i think 14 1500 so that is that one done Right, now we're going to put, because I had 77 left over in the, my purse, I'm actually going to put 150 in here, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 140, 150. So this 2024 challenge is going towards my new car, 
or new to us car, it won't be a brand new car. Um, so I want to try and put 100, 100 a week, but what I will do is whatever we've got left over in the purse each week, I'll put some of it in here as well to bulk it out. So let's see what we can get crossed off. 10, 8, 4, I hope you're all well and had a lovely week. I don't know if I've already said that. Um, I would zoom this up for you guys, but... Every time I... Oh, that's crap. That's that's great, isn't it? Fin I had seven left at the cross of seven. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. So yeah, so hopefully, basically, if I put 100 a week in, it will take 20 weeks, and then we'll put extra in when we can. Um, right, let's do risk the six, because I've been looking forward to this one. So what we'll probably do is we'll go through my bigger challenges each week, and then we'll do my littler ones. I've tried to mix it up so that, because obviously the bigger ones will take a lot longer, to unstuff um oh no so i've tried to mix it up um so that i can one two three four five six so that hopefully i'll have like littler ones to unstuff along the way um because and hopefully that will help keep me, like, motivated. I'll just sort these dice out. That's what that's what I was going to say. I was going to say... <clears throat> um, I would zoom up for you, but every, I've got two different editing softwares on my phone. And both of them... It just goes weird. <laughs> right, so... Okay, how do I do this one? Do I do Do I do all three? Four, five, six, seven. Right. So is that nine for that one? I'm doing it as if it's all three. I don't know if that's right or wrong. That one's three. Oh no. Oh no. Is that six? Oh, it doesn't really matter as long as all the numbers are right written on here. Does it? Nine. Twelve. Eleven. And twelve. Right, so let's add that up. So we've got nine, three, six, nine, twelve, and twelve. Fifty-one. How many games is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. Fifty-one. Nine and three. Nine plus three plus six plus nine plus twenty-four. Yeah, fifty-one. Twenty, forty, fifty-one. Going in there. That's a good start. I've seen people save quite a lot with Risk the Six. Um, right, come on, let's have a go at Knockout Nine. So we've got four and one. It's five. One and two is three. Oh. Three and two is five. Five and four is nine. Six and three is nine. So we can do seven and two. Six 
and 6 is 12, which we can't do, so 6 plus 8 is 14. <coughs> <coughs> so I'll put 14 in here. How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh no, I haven't got an envelope. Right. There you go. Four. Shut the box. Um, money multiplier. Six times two, so that's 12, isn't it? Six and two is 12. Oh no, that one's got a hole in it. Oh no. <laughs> right, I'll have to sort that out. Should we, do, should we just try and do all of them? She says. Right, let's do rolling with the times first because I've still got quite a bit though, haven't I? Because I've got all got that extra money that we're stuffing. Four and two. Four is eight. Five, seven, eight. Right. Mine sweet. I'm going to put 20 in here and cross that flag off. Um, rock, paper, scissors. Let's see. Paper, so that's 10. Lovely. Obviously, some of these I will be doing for quite a while if I only do like one a week, but we'll try and do some when we do some more then. Um, I'll leave fill the jar for now. Let's do this one. We'll put it at five and ten. Oh, I should have done that in pink. It'd look nicer. Where's my flippy thing? Yeah, I'm not very good at flipping things. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Let's just throw it up and... I can't even catch it. Right, heart. Hang on. X. So we'll give that one 10. I'll probably rub that off and change it to pink. Um, we'll come back to Sudoku roll. Right, I need to put that there because that one envelope's broke. Let's see what we can do in these. Right, nine jars, so... Is this a, does this got nine on it? Must have because it's got these six underlined. Maybe it hasn't. No, I think that's the eight sided. Right. Four. So we'll pop four in this one. I know I've got loads of challenges going on, but I was hoping. Each month I'll have a little bit extra money to put in them, so, yeah. Right, this one, each thing is 10, so I'll cross off two on that one, and I'll put the last 20 in. That's so cute, so cute, that was a freebie. Colour the alphabet. Right, I've ordered this. I've realised I haven't got a red pen. So I think I'm just going to tick them instead of colouring them. Because I don't have a red. Um, so let's see what we get. Purple is five. And red is six. So eleven. Let's pop eleven in. Purple. Red. 
I just want to try and like put a bit in everything this week, but next week we'll um I might get some more coins. I'll do like I'll just do so many each week sort of thing. Adorable friends, this is so cute. Look how cute. All the little animals. So cute. So let's see what we're going to put in here. Mix them up a bit. Eight. Right, let me get some change. Depends on what needs money at the time. What I might do is um, put some of the smaller challenges into that 2024 as well. But we'll just see. So we'll put five in here. Um, save with Sophie. Let's put five in here as well. I haven't put my card. Put my card in there. Right. I've tried to, I've run out of, I've run out of, um, what do they call it? For the stuff, you know, to rub the stuff off. So, I'll have to just cross it off for now until I can get some more nail varnish remover. Um, oh, we've got Save with Sophie, haven't we? Let's put 10 in this one. We've still got quite a bit of money left. Might just go back to some of those bigger ones. Naughty or nice. Odd, so save five for a lump of coal. This will go, this one will go towards Christmas. Um, so that one's done, that's done, that's done. So we've got save with Sophie left in here. So let's do, let's go, oh, where's it gone? Oh no, so spudged in life, sorry. Sorry. So let's do her book. Let's see what we're going to do. Right. Let me get... Pink. So I've marked off the ones that I'd like to do. We'll start with Dice Latte. Why not? So, I'm going to actually roll two. So, a six and a two. So, two. And a six. So, that's eight. Oh, I've just knocked half my dice on the floor. Let's roll again. Five and a four. So four and a five. So that's nine. So if I put ten in and take one out, we'll do one more roll. Two. My colouring is awful. I'm so sorry. Um, have I got... Right, I'm going to colour off the one as well, because then I can put five in and take that two out. Is that right? 
three, five, nine, ten, twenty. That is that one. Right. Let's let's do this one again because why not? It's too cute. Nine. What have I got in there? So I'll take a pound out and I'll put ten in. Oh, I didn't take my card out. Um. All right, let's go back to this one. Let's finish off some in here. How much have we actually got? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 215. Did I put, did I put the 100 in here? Let me just check. Yeah, I did. Right. Should we do risk the six again? Yeah, go on, because we've got the money this week. So, you know, most weeks we'll probably be only be able to do one game. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so twelve, seven. Oh, I've just knocked that. That one. That one. Six and six. Like I said, I don't know if I'm writing these in the right thing, but <clears throat> as long as they're written on, so that it adds up to the right amount at the end, it doesn't really matter, does it? So four, so that's eight. I don't know if I'm supposed to count all three. Three. So we've done that one, done that one. Six. Six. Twelve and seven. So eight plus three plus six plus six plus twelve plus seven. Forty-two. Oh god. Throwing it everywhere. Forty-two. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty, two. So already in two games, this one has 20, 30, oh, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. <clears throat> so if I finish this before the end of July, I think this is what will go towards school holidays. Right, knock out nine. We might as well do again because we've got enough money to play with. So we've already paid that. Um, let's see what the damage is this time. Five. Six. Oh no, seven. Oh. Seven. Now that's six. <laughs> Eight. Five. Six. Which I can't do. So nine plus two is eleven plus three. So fourteen. Oh, I've just drawn on myself now. I'm always drawing on myself when I do challenges. So I'll circle these as well. 
14. So we'll put 15 in and take a... Oh, we can't take... Oh, yeah, I can. Right, let's take a pound out. I'll put 15 in. Um, oh, we didn't do this. I haven't got a red for this either. We'll just have to make it up as we go along. Um, pink. So put 10 in there. Let's have another go. Why not? Red is one. I don't have a red, so... Mm. What colour is this going to be? Oh, wow. That'll have to be the red. Because... I haven't got a red. I'll have to go I'll have to go to Tesco and buy some more sharpers. I did have um oh I've already put ten in. I I've had I've brought like two full sets of sharpers, if not three. But the kids use them. Um let's do a couple of rolls of the dice and see what we get for the Sudoku roll. So who's this, the nine? Yeah. Zero. Nine. Eight. Two. Six. So that's 25, so we'll put 25 in. Rock, paper, scissors. So that's five. We'll have another roll, why not? Oh, that's another five, so that's ten. <clears throat> I don't even know if I've been in shot for half of this. <laughs> I'm sorry if I haven't. Um, right, mind sweep. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Is that 50 to cross off the bombs? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And we'll get all these bombs crossed off. basically end up going back for a bit. I won't have so much money all the other weeks so we'll be lucky if we actually manage to do like one a week, uh, one, of e one of everything a week. Five and three is 15. So we'll pop that in. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to put all the rest in the 2024 but I don't want to because I want to unstuff some of this for um, school holidays. Let's try this one again. Two and four is eight. So I'll take that two out and I'll put ten in. Um, Right, let's get let's go back to this one. I'll roll two dice. Three and a two. So three and a two. So that's five. Six and a three. So that's nine. Five and a two is seven. Seven 
So that's six. What have I done? God, three, three, five, six, two. Right, we'll, we'll do this one as well because then I can put 20 in. That's brilliant. Um, let's see what else we've got on here. Let's put 10 in here. It only saves 45, so. Really, it should be the first, one of the first we complete. But we'll see. Um, let's do pop ten in here. So six, three, and one. And then that last four. <clears throat> have I just pulled my Oh, yeah, I've just pulled the thing off. Oh, dear. <laughs> the last four we'll put in this one, Panda Pop. So the pan I've put the pandas as two, so I'll cross off two pandas. And I'll put that in there, and that is all the money gone. Bit of a longer video. Next week will be shorter because we'll have... Well, I don't know if we'll need to put any money into the variable binder. We didn't need to this week. Um, but if we don't, we'll have about £300. Um, if we do, then... We'll have less than three hundred pounds to go into challenges, um, but a hundred pound will be going straight into the twenty straight into the twenty twenty four. Around fifty pound will go into Christmas, so we'll basically have my purse, Christmas, twenty twenty four, and then one hundred and fifty for challenges. So, yeah, which you know, with the bigger ones, that money could be gone. Um in like free challenges couldn't it so you know some videos probably going to be really long some videos will be really short but I'm going to do this until at least July um see where we're at in July and then I might start normal cash stuff in like like is it this one no my variable binder will get stuffed when it needs it each week between now and July but I'm going to focus a bit more on challenges just because I do enjoy doing them and, you know, it's a nice way to sort of save the money. Um, next week, the cash stuff and my purse will be a bit different because we're going away. So I'm going to put money for food and fuel in there, but I'm not giving us any spending money. I'm not giving any, the kids any spending money. Um... We'll put the rest into challenges and then when we get back off holiday um, what I'm going to do is I think most of the holiday I'll just pay for on card because the money's already in the bank. Um, I don't know, I'll see. But if I decide to do a mixture of like card and cash we'll redistribute the cash and then whatever is in the bank, I'll update the placeholders um, because we might be going away in August just for a couple of days or October or if we can afford to, we might do both. I'm not sure yet. It all depends what we can get saved. Um, so I have got a bit more Happy Mail to come. So I'll show that in 
one of my next videos and this video is getting really long now so I'm not going to edit on, add it onto this video but the next video we will do a um, what do they call it? I'll announce the winners for last week's video. Um, I still haven't I still haven't announced the Instagram winners. I haven't forgot just everything. I'm just falling up behind with everything at the moment. Um, so yeah. So we're back next week. We'll put any money in the variable binder that needs to go in there. We'll stuff my unstuff and stuff my purse. And we'll do some more challenges. Um, I'm hoping I might be able to get some completed by the end of June and then we'll do a reallocation with it and then the end of July and we'll do a reallocation with it and then anything else will just get reallocated as and when. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching everybody. Sorry it's not like my normal cash stuff and video. Like I said, I'm just getting... I won't even say, the thing is, cash stuff and works for me like it works for a lot of people. Like it really does work in the fact that if I've got money in a certain envelope, you know, obviously we have times where we have to take from a category that wasn't what it was intended for or whatever. But with cash stuff in, we've got the money there to fall back on whatever we need it for. And I paid off my debt in like the July. I started cash stuff in the June, but not properly um, off camera. I got debt free in the July and then in the September I thought, right, now I'm going to do it properly. And even when I haven't put a video out, I have cash stuffed every single week since September 2022. 20, and since cash stuffing, I've not had to, I've not got back into debt. Um, whereas before, I would work really hard at paying debt off. I'd get it paid off, something would crop up and I wouldn't have the money to fall back on. And I mean, since I've started cash stuff in, I've paid out about £2,000 just in car repairs. Previously, I wouldn't have had the money for that. So I would have put it, because I, I didn't have an emergency fund, so it would have gone on a credit card. Um, you know, just things like that. We weren't having holidays regularly previously to cash stuff in. Um, so, you know, it's... I don't know, I just find it, it does work, but at the moment, I'm just getting a bit bored with just putting the money in in different, in, in the allocated envelopes each week. So I thought I'd change it up for a bit. Like I said, probably until at least, at least July. And then we'll reallocate. Oh, I think Gillian budgets, I think that's how she does it, because she's always done savings challenges. Um. So... Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And then in July, we'll review it of whether we're going to do a mix of challenges and stuff in or carry on with mainly just challenges or we're going to do like not so many challenges sort of thing. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll catch up with you all soon. Bye.